Hey YouTube, I'm back with another video and in this video I'm going to be showing you how I do a little bit of nail art and I'm going to be doing some gray matte nails. So first I'm going to be taking my drill and just drilling off all of this gel polish. This is a set that I did on my channel so if you want to check it out it'll be the video posted right before this one. And yeah, I'm just taking my drill bit. I'm using this drill. Um, again, I got it from Sally's. I'll put it on the screen for you guys. Uh, I've been using this drill for about two years now. And then I use my safety drill bit because it does prevent you from cutting yourself or cutting a client. Sometimes as a beginner, and even me, sometimes I'll lose control over my drill. So this definitely does prevent you from cutting yourself. But yeah, I'm going to be taking this and just getting rid of all that color. So that way you won't be able to see it when I do my gray... Um, the gray polish and since I did a fill in on these nails about a few days ago I don't have to do a fill in or really any prepping for this set because it was just done not too long ago um, so yeah this will be a really simple tutorial because all I'm doing pretty much is just a color change and I'm going to be doing some nail art now a little disclaimer I cannot draw to save my life so this was definitely something new for me but I just wanted to give it a try I normally don't ever do any kind of nail art so this was something uh, really different for me so once I fin finish drilling off of the drilling all of the gel polish off I then go in and reshape my nails and I always go in and reshape my nails when I'm doing a color change because I just feel like I like my shape to be as sharp as, sharp as possible. Um, so I just go in with my file and I am just cleaning up my shape. Basically I'm just kind of redefining it and then just like that we'll be ready to do some gel polish. Um, make sure you are also brushing off that dust because if you don't then the gel polish will kind of come in contact with that and then your polish won't lay as smooth as it can so make sure you're brushing off the dust um, I'm going to be taking some Vanessa nails gel polish and I'm going to do about two coats of that and then I'm going to cure it and then it will be time for a little bit of nail art So yeah, I only had to do about two coats of this and now I'm going to be taking a brush with some D&D black polish and I'm following a picture. I probably should have shown you guys a picture that I was trying to recreate 
I just searched it up on Instagram and yeah this was probably the most difficult thing that I've ever had to do when it came to doing nails because like I said I can't draw it's like really difficult for me so um it's even kind of hard to explain I just took a picture and followed it followed it the best I could mine did not look like the picture that I was um, referring to but it was very very it was very close um considering like I said I can't draw but I'll let you guys just watch this um and we're pretty much going to be finished I'm gonna finish this off with a matte top coat and then that's it uh, something that's really simple this did not take me long at all the, the part that took me the longest was the nail art and I think it came out really cute I never did matte gray before I never don't I don't don't even really do gray nails at all so this was really interesting but I really ended up liking it um, also I want to say that in between um, like while I was doing the snake I did cure it so that way I wouldn't smudge it or wouldn't mess up or anything so I cured it as I was doing it uh, just so that I wouldn't like because if I would have smudged it across the nail like especially with it being a, back, a black color that would have not been good so just a reminder to make sure you're going you're curing it every now and then so you don't hit it or so it doesn't smudge because it will be like I would have been probably extremely mad so yeah I'm gonna finish it with a matte top coat and then we're gonna be finished so I guess I'll say thank you for watching my video uh, this is really quick I feel like I'm forgetting something but I don't know leave me some comments let me know what you think are you good at nail art are you not good good at nail art let me know and I'll see you guys in my next video